on him. I'll flip the camera around, I'm looking instead of. Right, morning. Brew day. Uh, yeah, so the mash water is just about reaching temperature. So what we're brewing? Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, uh, Timmy Jenkins, well a few weeks ago, Timmy Jenkins sent me a beer. It was his Crystal Wisen. Oh my fucking God, it was bloody lovely. I don't know if the review's up yet. It's in and scheduled. I don't know if it's gone up yet. It's by the by. So I made it a few weeks ago and I did a double brew day and the second brew of the day one was my Stig IPA second was the Crystal Wisen and there was a lot of to and fro in with the recipe I went exactly as per the recipe um, so I say there's to and fro there's no to and fro in reference to the recipe but reference the clearing of it I tried veggie gel things like that and I thought do you know what actually I'm not going to bother with anything to clear it out because obviously you know you'd be using gelatin but so I'm not that anal so it wouldn't have been the end of the world if I used gelatin but you know what I thought leave it so I kegged it put it in there started drinking it it was a hef albeit it was a strong motherfucker because Timmy is hardcore in he I uh, can't remember exactly what it was but it was over seven percent it was fucking strong um, so anyway, drinking it, loved it, mate, loved it, came round, he fucking spanked the shit out of it. So, yeah, he probably drank more of it than I did. Luckily, I managed to keg some. Some to stick in a, a flask for Adam, which, please tell me, it's not gone missing. Because, as yet, it's been over a week, I think, and it's not arrived with him. Anyway, uh, forget it. If I've got to get a new one, I've got to get a new one. With the fucking second one, it can't have happened again. Surely to shit. Anyway, by the by. Uh, where were we? So, yes, my mate spanked the shit out of it. Absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. But after a week or so, it did drop out. And it went from what you would call a hef to a crystal wise. And it was fucking beautiful. So I've decided to brew it again. But instead of the original recipe... I scaled it back a bit. Same hop schedule. Uh, so it's, I think it's about 21 high view, so it's slightly above what you would expect for a uh, heft stroke um, crystal wisen, but Timmy knows it works because he's drank it, sent it to me, and it works. I brewed the recipe, it fucking certainly works. So fuck what the um, blowjob, BHG, BGH, BGC. B H C B G G G them fucking judges sir fuck you anyway um, so let's have a look what did we do I won't go through the original recipe um, well I could but I won't I might put it below but probably won't but this one is 2.2 kilo of wheat malt 1.1 kilo of lager 740 of Bohemian Pilsner 190 gram of each Munich and Vienna. Now Vienna is the only thing that I actually changed. And the only reason I changed it the first time around is because I didn't have any fucking carapils. So the original recipe called for 250 gram of carapils. Went to get it, haven't fucking got any. I had some Vienna, put that in. And that is fine, it worked. So I liked it, I thought I'll stick with it again. Uh, hoppage is... <sighs> fucking hell, breathe, hapless, breathe, breathe. Hi. Hoppage, 10 gram of saws at uh, 60. 30 gram of Holotar Herzbacher at 30 minutes. At 15 minutes, 30 gram of saws. And then at flame oot is 30 gram of Cascade, 30 gram of saws. Uh, IBUs is, yeah, 21. So, anyway, let's see. So, in total, we've got 4.42 kilos of. Greenwich instead of the original, which was six kilos of Greenwich. So we're hoping to pull down the ABV somewhat. Now we know it's not going to be the same beer. It isn't going to taste the same. It can't. It can't taste the same. However, seven plus percent session beer isn't fucking sensible. Tim, it you was fucking mental. You was by mental. But I love you. Anyway, so let's stop fucking about. Let's start brewing. I've got time for this dicking around. Oh, one other thing. 
I'm using this uh, brew fatter, the brew fatter hap. Anyway, um, I ain't quite got my profile, so I don't seem to be right. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the guidelines what it says on the water here. I know the sport is slightly different to BF um, Brewers, Frank. BF Brewers, it's same fucking initials. Change it. Um, because I don't think the mash water takes into account grain absorption, absorption you're basically your losses. With this, it takes into account the losses with the mash water that you have. Anyway, it's by the by. It's irrelevant, you can change the settings, but I just haven't. So, let's stop wittering and let's mash it. I'm going to show you my shit. If you've seen it before, you'll see it again. If you've seen it before, skip to the end. Watch the fucking drink in action, innit? Or shut the fuck up and carry on watching. For those of you that are new to my channel, have a look at my equipment and I'm sure you're going to think it's fucking marvellous. So click the fucking subscribe button. See you in a minute. Yes, as you see, the water is slowly coming from the HLT down into pump B, which is B for bottom, out of pump B for bottom, up this pipey thing and into there and then it's coming into there you see and that's the mash water as we call it anyway I shall give it a stir and um, you know be right back hey I've zoomed the camera in so you'll be able to see my zits won't you like so now it's time to um, get some drugs ready I um, probably didn't know I'm a drugs dealer as well, not really, unless calcium chloride is classified as a drug. So, additions, 1.59 grams of calcium chloride, that's not a fucking lot is it, I could snort that in one go. One point five nine. Fucking perfecto. Calcium chloride. Uh huh. Uh, next on the agenda is some Epsom salts. Magnesium sulfate, I believe it's called. Otherwise known as bath salts. Uh, 0.6 gram. Fuck. Too fucking much. Fuck me, that was hard work. Fuck all that. Gotta get it all in. And finally, gypsum. Oh, gypsum, 0.6 gram. Fuck me, that doesn't seem like enough. I have to put some seed in. So it was very unprofessional. Not as I give a fuck. Okay, so the additions are in. Let's give this a right good old stir. Now, the it's been in here for about five minutes. Now the mash water, because my HLT is only. 28 litres. Once I've dored in, I need to refill my HLT and bring it back up to temperature. So, before I can start recirking, because my perm's coil is inside of there. 
So it's currently at 53 degrees, so it'll take about another 10-12 minutes to come up to temperature and then I can start thinking about recirking and doing me one hour. So in total, usually ends up about an hour and a half mash. So, I'll come back to you. Okay, where am I? Uh, oh, acid. Acid! Yeah, the pH was out, which I knew it would be, so I've made a slight adjustment with my phosphoric acid. Uh, so, <coughs> I went for 30 mil. It calculated at 40, it seemed a bit more, so I went for 30 and it's a 5.3, so perfect. So, sometimes you've got to go with your gut a little bit as well. Can't always trust this fucking software. Anyway, so, water's almost back up to temperature. I'm going to hook up the reset and I shall come back to it in a little while. Okay, so, we're researching. Bloody perfect look. So, we're out of the mash tump. Many of you have seen this before. Into the bottom pump, out of the bottom pump, into the coil, out of the coil, into that sex toy looking thing. So, our mash, see what happens, and I'll come back to you when I'm testing for the conversion in it. Okay. 60 minutes is up. Took a little sample. Oh, a bit too much there. Well, looks like decent enough conversion to me. But you fucking animal. Excuse me, I've just had eggs on top. Okay. Let's raise the temperature to 77 for mash out. Okay, I've raised the temp to 77. So it'll probably take about 10 15 minutes, 10 minutes to reach that maximum. And then we'll give it a 10 15 minute mash out. It's still recirking lovely. Like you. Well, well, well. So I can die. <laughs> Fucking twat. Do you like that? Why have I stood like that? <laughs> anyway, it's fine. I've not had a drink yet. So um, okay, so we've mashed out and I've rejigged the pipes and we are sparging. So I'll show you what I've rejigged. And again, if you've seen all this before, you shut the fuck up and watch it or skip to the end. Either way, click like. So there you go, it's moving over very slowly. Out the HLT, into the bottom, pump, out the pump, into the coil, out the coil, out the pump, into yonder, nice and slowly. And out of there, top pump, out the top pump, into there, and nice and slowly. Let's try and get decent conversion because we ain't got loads of grains in this one. I'm sure we'll hit the numbers. I'll be back. Alright chickens, okay. Hot break. First hot edition. 10 gram of SARS going in. Mm. Pissy amount of hops. Right. Uh, when's the next hop edition? 30 minutes. I'll see you in 30 minutes. I'll pro flock. Yeah, I need to start that. See you in a bit. Hello! 30 minute hoppage edition. 30 gram of Holotar Hirschbacher. Leaf. Fucking hate leaf. Radio's playing. 
fucking YouTube, please, for being on Copyright, please. Well, fuck you. Goddamn copyright, please. My goddamn Bruce Shannon, I'll play what the fuck I want. Bitch. Subtitled. 15 minute editions. I'll come back to you. Fifteen minute edition. Fifteen gram. No, it's not. <laughs> Thirty gram of saws and pro flop. I'll get the chiller in and I'll come back to you for the final hop edition. I think. Put him out. Wipe me fan. I'll chill down to 80. I can't remember if I chilled down to 80 last time for this. But I'm going to do a very short hop stand. Doesn't need much. So I'm going to chill down to 80. Final hop edition. I'll be right back. back. <sighs> 30 gram of each, SARS and Cascade. It's getting a bit full in there, be right. Let's give it a good old stir. Impenetrable lid. Again. Fuck all. And I mean, fuck all getting in there. No chance. It's alright. I don't know if you saw me last video, which I'm probably not putting up, so it's kind of irrelevant. I've got a bigger boiler now, but I'm not using it this time. One, because I didn't have enough grains, and two, because when I used these, when Clive came round and I used his um, counter flow, uh, what's it called, plate chiller thing, fucking brilliant, I want one, in fact I'm getting one, um, in fact the missus is getting me one. So, in reality this piss pot coil wouldn't fucking cool down a 56 litre kettle. Not a chance, I'll be there for about six weeks, so it's what it is. 10 minute timer. So I'm going to do a 10 minute hop stand, um, a few more brews out of this and then we're going to be going to the big boy bro, because the wife is getting me two things, oh I love her so fucking much, I've gone back to Welsh look, she's getting me a grain mill and a plate chiller, now I know there's controversy about plate chillers, don't try and talk me out of it, it's been made up, mind made up. And I'm going to have an issue with cold break because I am going to be recircuit through the plates back into the kettle. So any cold break will be in the kettle. So butt the fuck out. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Last time I brewed this a few weeks ago, when I got to the end of the cold, to the end of the chilling, there was a big fucking wasp in there. Or a bumblebee, whatever. Somebody corrected me. Corrected me. Fucking bee, wasp, whatever. It was fucking black and yellow and striped and fucking stings. And the bastard was in there. It didn't cause any problems, but now I've created this super barrier. We'll never get in. Never. Oh, okay. Just the camera. Oh, that's better. Right. Tepid water, about 25 degrees. I'm using this, Crystal Wisem. It's from Cross My Luth. 
I've used the pearl ale of yeast and I might give it another go. I, I, I was impressed when I started using it, then I sort of fell out of love with it. I think it just it fermented out way too quick and it kind of left slight, I would say off flavours, but you can maybe just blame me. I'm sure it probably was, so I may give it a go. However, this is the second time I've used it, first time I've used it, fantastic. It's the same that Timmy used and I know it's shit hot. It works in this so well, it's unbelievable. So, I chilled the work right down. So, it's in, it's aerated, it's aerated. Cling film, star sam, shove the lid on, and that's it. We'll um, let that do its thing for 15 minutes, half an hour, whatever. We'll pitch the yeast. Don't need to see that, but I. Is this going to be a grain to glass? Maybe. I say this every time and it usually is, isn't it? So if it's not a grain to glass, it's bing bong. Thank you for watching. If not, I'll see you soon. I could edit that bit out, but again, I won't. You know me. See ya. Hello. Right. Here she is. <clears throat> okay. So, I mean, it's not crystal, crystal wise, but it's getting there. So, obviously, um, I don't know if I've mentioned it earlier, I haven't used any um, clearing agents in this at all. I'm just literally letting it do its thing in the keg. I've been drinking it pretty much since day one, so um, it's probably going to get to the end of the fucking keg before it's super clear, but I ain't got a problem with that, that's absolutely fine. But that is nice. I know what it tastes like. I've already had it. Let's just dive in. On the nose, bubblegum, banana, big style. Oh, yeah, everybody should have a beer that should always be on tap. And this motherfucker is it. Timmy, very well done. It's a brilliant recipe. Um, I would never, ever, ever have put this amount of hops, even though the IBUs is very low, I would never have put that amount of hoppage um, into a Hef or a Crystal Wise or anything like that. But that's proof that right there, that is just perfection, absolutely spot on. Second time I've done it, the first one was over 7%. This one is 5.2, I think. Can't remember, something like that. Absolutely spot on, I'm chuffed to bits with it. Mm. It's got everything you would expect from it. Brilliant mouthfeel. It's got a massive banana and bubblegum flavor. It's just, lovely i'm absolutely fucking chuffed to bits with it it isn't going to last long but i am going to brew it again and again and again and again i sent one of the last ones out that i did the stronger one uh, exactly the recipe as per what timmy sent to me i sent timmy one and did i send timmy one yeah of course i fucking did um also sent one to adam at baldy's it was in the flask garden. It had been in there fucking ages, so he said it was okay, but I don't know. But I'll send this out as well. Um, yeah, chuffed to fucking bits. This will keep getting brewed and brewed and brewed and brewed. And you know, cross my loof, crystal wise and yeast. Yeah, I mean, I don't like the ale yeast. The general ale, American ale yeast, I think it's called. It doesn't do it for me. But this, yeah, absolutely chuffed a bit. And what is it, like 80p? I mean, I've actually kept some back. I've harvested some. But it's like, well, why did you bother? You know, it's 80 fucking p or something like a quid. Quid at the most. So, yeah, guys, yeah, get it. Brew the recipe. If you like anything like this, you know, if you like Hefweizen's, Crystal Weizen's, um, then just do it. Brew the fucking thing. I'll put the recipe down below, um, the scaled down recipe. Um, if you brew it, 
you must give some credit to Timmy Jenkins because it is his original recipe. It isn't mine. Um, but, yeah, chuffed the fucking bits. Oh, fuck me, yes. Oh, I fucking love beer. And beer fucking loves me. And luckily, I've only got one friend that likes um, this style of beer. Um, and it's not summer anymore, so he probably won't come around for a while, so I'll get to drink it all myself. The last one that I did, the full strength one, he beat the fuck out of the keg. I mean, beat the shit out. If he only came round twice, he drank half the fucking keg. More than half the keg. But he ain't getting this one. Money joking, Steve. Love you, by the way. So, guys, thank you very much indeed for watching another hapless grain to glass videos. Um, I've got a hell of a lot to come out over the next week or two. I've got about four or five grain to glass videos that are sort of midway. Um, well, I say midway, I'm just too much of a lazy cunt to actually fucking edit them and get them up. So, bing bong, see you later.